Problem number 16, this limit right here is the limit definition of the derivative for some unknown function f of x at some unknown point a. And so there's two different versions of the, of the limit definition for the derivative. The version that we care about right here is going to be f prime of a is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Okay, so we just need to make the appropriate definitions, appropriate uh, matching here. So somehow, okay, let's see, h, limits h goes to zero, that doesn't tell us anything. h in the denominator, that doesn't tell us anything. Somehow we need to have the f of a plus h needs to equal four plus h to the three halves power, and f of a needs to equal eight. And so we see here f of a plus h, this right here sure suggests that a plus h, four plus eight, it is sure suggests here that we should think about a is equal to four, and then our function f of x is going to equal x to the three halves. Because when we plug in f of a plus h, uh, a is equal to four here, f of four plus h is going to be four plus h to the three halves as, as desired here. And f of four itself, f of a, four to the three halves, does this check out? Four to the three halves is in fact equal to eight. So all of this checks out here. Okay, so this shows us here, great, that we have um, f of x is x of three halves here. This is the derivative at a is equal to four. To calculate the value of the limit, but let's not do this using limit rules. Let's do this um, using, well, derivative rules f prime of x, the derivative of x to the 3 halves is going to be 3 halves x to the 1 half power. So f prime of 4 is 3 halves times 4 to the 1 half power is 3 halves times 2 is 3. And so that takes care of determining this, uh, determining this derivative.